Hello again. In this video I'm going to show you how I made an antique style gun case for an old Oscar Wheel Herbal Spanner. This air gun dates from the late 1890s and I didn't really want to put it in a modern gun case so I wanted to make something that was a bit more appropriate for something this old. I took inspiration from an old Oscar Wheel catalogue which was published at the time and features this actual air gun. It also features a gun case made by Oscar Wheel, uh, which is a leather clad case which has this very interesting uh, studding detail which looks very German. So I was going to incorporate that into my gun case, although I wasn't going to clad it in leather. So I made a wooden box which was the correct dimensions for this air gun. It's got pine sides and a plywood top and bottom. And then to age it a little bit I used some prop making techniques. One of them is to scorch it, which uh, chars a little bit of the soft grain. Then use the wire wall brush, and what that does is it lifts out, removes all the soft grain, and you only have the hard grain remaining, and you get some really good texture. And then to make it look a bit worn, I just got a big heavy chain from work and gave it a few whacks with that. And what that does is it gives it a nice random amount of dents and wear. Then once it's all sanded back and then uh, stained and varnished, you'll still see that level of ageing distress come through. To get the nice dark brown colour I wanted, I used a combination of oak and walnut wood stain. And then to separate it into the suitable sized halves, I put it through a table saw and then I fitted a long piano hinge. So with the basic box finished, it was time to look at the little brass inserts. Now I wanted these to reflect some of the details of this air gun. It had some really nice oak leaf um, carving. So I made a central insert, a reflection of that. And then also surrounding it, I used some brass pins and brass washers to, to replicate the sort of studs that I saw on that original German gun case. There was also a little fleur de lis carving under the trigger guard. So I made the corner plates to reflect that. These were all chased in with a little pin punch and to make them look old I used some Casey aluminium black to tarnish them and then rubbed them back with some wire wool. And to reflect the curly trigger guard I had a metalworking mate of mine make me this lovely little wrought iron handle with little curly ends. I think it works really well. So that was all the metalwork done. Then I just kept applying layer after layer of bry wax and rubbing it back so I got a lovely sort of antique bar top finish, which is what I wanted. So with the outside finished, it was time to start looking at the interior. I decided to use red bays to line this as it's sort of period correct and suits this air gun well. I used self adhesive red bays, line the inside and then made dividers. To make the dividers, I used various sizes of wood. Uh, mainly 4mm MDF, so cut it to the size you want and then to clad it uh, I used this self-adhesive red base. Uh, it's very convenient to use. So really the only thing to think about is what surfaces you're going to have to glue and obviously not putting any bays on those. And um, So this one for example I'm going to be gluing it on the bottom and the sides so I'll cut the bays off the sides and the bottom and leave it going over the top. So I'm exposing those areas that I need to glue. It's pretty straightforward. And um, yeah, you just have to think about that really when you're doing it as to what bits you need to leave exposed and what bits you need to cover. And then also if you are going to be cladding the ends with bays, you have to think about um, where the joins are really. Uh, but for this, the ends are open so position is important so I put it into position and then what I do is I mark it with tape so that when I take it out I can put it straight back in that position again and uh, that's because of how you glue it really so I'm going to glue the sides but in the in the box so that it pushes that glue down it doesn't splurge out the top and then I'll glue the bottom of the insert so that when it locates finally at the bottom and I push it in, the glue is already in position. So that's it. Use the tape to line it up, push it down and yeah, touch down. So the glue is now exactly where it needs to be underneath it 
and the glue on the sides hasn't splurged out the top. <clears throat> it's water-based glue as well, so I've just used wood glue for that, so if the worst came to the worst, you could just clean it out with a damp cloth. If you're going to have any intersecting angles, obviously you have to think about that, so you would cut your inserts first and then clad them appropriately. And also, this has got some nice leather side straps, so I've cut out from the inserts on the sides to allow for that. I also put a little raised lip around the front edge of this box, which I think is correct. And uh, if you look closely, you can see that effect that the wire wall brush has. It looks pretty good. Then for a case label, I used that uh, contemporary Oscar Wilde catalog, but I got rid of the Venus Waffen work in um, Photoshop. And yeah, that works really well as a case label. And for case latches, I just actually got some modern uh, antique style case latches because uh, I couldn't really find any old ones and I wanted them to work. So um, they do the job and I don't want to be too precious about those. So that's it, all finished. I'm really happy with the result. It came out pretty much exactly as I wanted and uh, I think it really does this lovely old air gun justice. Yeah, I'm quite happy to take it out in that. Cool, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Ta-da.